Hi, it's Bob Powers. Today I'm gonna to go over the top five dress shoes that I think a man should own. Now, if you're really sharp, you may have already noticed there's more than five pairs of shoes here, so I'm gonna kind of give you like an alternate, you know, in other words, a couple examples of some of them. So uh, there are a lot of people that have done a video like this and pretty much everyone is in consensus. The very first dress shoe that a man should have is gonna be this right here. Black Oxford. This is an Oxford, done other videos on this. It has a closed lacing system at the front versus this, this is a derby where it's open, okay? The Oxford is more formal, it's more elegant, and this is a cap toe Oxford. So you can see it's simple, there's no broguing, okay? This is broguing. It's a simple cap toe Oxford and black is the most formal. Oxford style is the most formal style, so this is a shoe that you can wear in interviews. This is the shoe that you can wear to weddings and funerals. And again, black is a more formal color than brown. So that's definitely the very first dress shoe that someone should get, okay? This particular pair here is a pair of Allen Edmonds. Now, I think a lot of people I've found don't really like to lace up shoes. So probably the next shoe that you're gonna to wanna to get is going to be a loafer. So there's a couple examples here. This color is called Cordovan. It's a beautiful, you know, or also known as Oxblood. It's a you know, beautiful uh, a brown color with a, a definite reddish hue to it. This is a penny loafer, okay? Very classic style. Um, you know, it's been in style for 100 years and probably will be for another 100. Or here you can see more a, a lighter brown loafer. Now here's one thing I'm gonna say. Please, 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 for the love of decent fashion, do not get the, the, the square-toed loafer, okay? So in other words, if you see this is a bike toe, so it's got a definite point to it. Um, it's like a chisel toe, okay? That's okay, this is called a bike toe. You know, if you think of like when you put your foot, uh, you know, in those pedal things that hold your feet, that's a bike toe. Don't get the one that's the big box toe, okay? The origins of the box toe shoe, where the, the, the shoe almost has a square shape in the front, um, is they had the same shoe for the left and right foot. That's where it came from. So many people have that shoe, the black $40 box toe shoe. Please, please don't do that. Something like this. And if your first shoe is black, you're gonna probably want the second one in brown, okay? It could be a dark brown, uh, you know, a lighter brown like this, um, you know, or, or, or a, uh, you know, the Cordovan. General rule of thumb is don't wear black with brown, don't wear brown with black, um, but Cordovan here can go with brown or black, so it's the most versatile. Now, the third shoe I think you're gonna to wanna to get is going to be another lace-up shoe, and I would say you'll want some sort of wing tip. So here you can see, this is a Florsheim shoe. Uh, this design here is called a wing tip, okay? And uh, it's a derby. So this is gonna be less formal. This you can wear with jeans. This you could wear with a sport coat and slacks. You could even wear it with a suit, although you are down dressing a suit if you wear a derby shoe with a suit, okay? Very versatile. This here is tan. This is called burnished when it has that, uh, you know, darker color on the toe uh, and it's got broguing. This one here, this is actually what you would call a long wing. Do you see how the, the wing tip goes all the way to the back of the shoe versus this one where it stops? And obviously it's a, you know, black, it's a different color. Again, this one is a floor shine. Uh, retail price on this is about 100 and, uh, 130 bucks. I think I paid 109 for them. Uh, here, Allen Edmonds. This is called a long wing. Now another difference between these two, you see the, the welt right here? This is called the storm welt. And you can see how thick the sole is. It's called the double oak sole. It's a double thickness sole compared to more of the standard that you're gonna see. Okay, so it's a bit chunkier. It's more of a classic American or English style, right? But something like this, you know, in black or brown, I think is definitely gonna be a good third shoe. Fourth shoe, and this is a little more on the formal side again, would be something like one of these two. Uh, these both are Allen Edmonds. This is Allen Edmonds McAllister, and this is the Allen Edmonds Strand. Uh, Strand is probably Allen Edmonds' most famous shoe, although you usually are gonna see it uh, in walnut, which is closer to like that color or this color, okay? But this particular shoe is in oxblood. You can see there, Allen Edmonds, Strand, right? Uh, but one of these two, either the cap toe Oxford or the wingtip Oxford. You know, these are mine and these are our friends that just purchased them and I'm jealous. Look at those things, beautiful, right? 
But the point of this shoe is it's a little flashier than that one. Obviously, if you get it in like a tan or a brown or, or an oxblood, and this is, by the way, another interesting note. This is Allen Edmonds oxblood. This is Allen Edmonds oxblood. Obviously, this is much lighter, so you're going to get a wide variation in it, okay? This shoe, by the way, has a spit shine on the toe cap, meaning multiple layers of clear. This one does not, okay? But I think this would be a good fourth shoe. It's flashier, you know, it, it's going to grab some attention. It's just beautiful. It's going to set you apart from the crowd. Still in Oxford, so it's a little more on the formal side, but not black. So you could even still wear this with jeans, okay? Great around, all around shoe. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, and this is my personal opinion. Maybe this is a bias, but here, a woven leather shoe. This is a derby, so you can wear this with anything, and I think it should be in brown. Brown, by nature, is a, a less formal color, um, and I think it would lend itself much better uh, to wearing with blue jeans. This shoe is just a, to me, just a gorgeous, beautiful shoe. I like it with a cap toe, so you can shine up that cap toe, get it looking nice. And this is a one that you're going to wear out on the town, in the evenings, on date night. You know, you may be even going to go to the playground. Um, probably not going to wear this one in foul weather. They tend not to be very warm. Um, and you don't want to really collect water in that woven. But it's just, mm, uh, I, I just love this look. You know, I've got this exact same shoe actually in black and brown. Uh, these particular shoes are made by Principe. But that, to me, would be shoe number five. Uh, there's, you know, probably a lot of discrepancy. There'd be a lot of choice in what your fifth one was. Um, this is definitely not your second or third shoe. You're going to want some of these other staples before you get to something like this, okay? So that, in my humble opinion, would be the top five dress shoes that, uh, that a man should have.